Hey boys and girls, teacher Deborah here. Nod your head if you brush your teeth. Yeah. How about going to school, reading and writing? Did you know that some boys and girls in other countries, they don't go, get to go to school, they don't know how to write and read? You know, there are many ways that we learn around the world. Some in classrooms, some uh, on computers, some with kids of different ages in, in one room. But though we live differently, did you know that there is one thing that all people in the world need to know? All people need to know about Jesus. That's why missionaries travel from, to, all, to so many countries to tell other people about Jesus. You know, Miss Francis was one of those missionaries. She went to Nigeria. And she started a mission school to teach boys and girls about Jesus. And in doing so, she helped one girl called Wamdi. Wamdi didn't know how to read or to write. And so Wamdi had heard of Miss Francis. And the Tango people believed that white people could suck the spirit out of you. They called white people Batule. Batule. Every time they saw white people, they said Batule. And so Bambi peeped in the classroom to see. And so Miss Francis welcomed her and gave her a paper and a pen. And she told her how to write the first letter in the alphabet in her own language. And Wamdi realized that Miss Francis was very nice and kind. And so Miss Francis told her that she could come back anytime. So she kept coming and she learned how to read, how to read and write. And as she listened to Miss Francis, Reading the Bible, she loved hearing. And one of the verses was John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So one day, one time, she was sitting under the tree, reading. And she thought, I have thought, said, and done wrong sinful things and she said i want to believe in jesus and so she believed in jesus right then but the tongue people believed in a false god they didn't believe in the one true god and so one time wamdi's father asked her to do something would she do it she knew it was wrong. She, no, she said no. And so that made her father really mad. Her father threatened her. And then he pushed her and pushed her into the God house where Wamdi lived with no food and no water. She starved. She was very hungry and starving. And she thought, is Jesus worthy suffering for like this? No food, no water? She said, yes. If I die, I die. And so Wamdi's father beat her. And she said, if Wamdi changed her mind, she could come back anytime. And so one night, Wamdi in the God house was singing. I don't know what song she was singing, but she was singing and people came out of their homes and they listened and they said, who was singing that beautiful song? Wamdi was singing. And so her father let her free that night. And so Wamdi kept telling others about Jesus and she took her mother to the mission church and then her older sister believed in Jesus. But through all that time, while Wamdi was in the God house, she remembered the verse that Miss Francis told them. That Jesus said, I will never leave you. That gave her comfort and peace.
and so Wamdi had peace and she kept telling other people about Jesus boys and girls I don't know what you're going through right now but remember Jesus is with you you know many people suffer for Jesus in different ways in or countries all over the world. Some people even suffer more than one they did. But they have decided to follow Jesus. Boys and girls, will you remember to pray for the people who are suffering for Jesus and pray for them, the people in Nigeria? Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notification of new videos.